how does the life of Reed Drummond, also known as the Pioneer Woman, intertwine with the Osage murders? There's a lot to unpack here. The Osage murders is a tale of greed, murder, and betrayal. This story has gained a lot of attention with the recent Martin Scorsese film, Killers of the Flower Moon. The film details the reign of terror over the Osage Nation. Let's peel back some layers of the story. In the late 1800s, oil was discovered on Osage land. Uprooted from their ancestral homelands in Kansas, the Osage Nation was forced to move to Oklahoma Territory. In their new home, the Osage Nation found themselves sitting on top of a fortune. We're talking about oil. The Osage Nation virtually overnight became some of the wealthiest people in the world. But the wolves came from everywhere to plunder this newfound fortune. This would set the stage for a gruesome series of killings. Each Osage member was given what is called a head right. This is an immense share of this newfound wealth. However, the United States government would deem many Osage families unfit to handle their financial affairs. And of course, they would be assigned white guardians. These so-called guardians siphoned millions of dollars from Osage families. Also, if a white man married an Osage woman, he would gain control over her head right. So you basically had white men killing their Osage wives to gain control over their financial wealth. This is the chilling connection to Reed Drummond, AKA Pioneer Woman. Reed Drummond's family has historical ties to some of these head rights. Drummond's family, including Reed's husband, Lad, owns about 9% of this land, once belonging to the Osage tribe, valued at approximately $275 million. The Drummonds were involved in all kinds of questionable financial practices leading to the exploitation of the Osage nation. They gained their wealth through stealing from the Osage. The Drummond's family acquisition of land, including parts owned by William Hill, one of the few people to be convicted of the Osage murders, and their interactions with the Osage people are central to the narrative. This land that is currently owned by the Drummonds is soaked in Osage blood. There may have been over a hundred murders so that white folks could steal Osage wealth. And the Drummond family to this day still controls a portion of some of these head rights. This is such a dark and ugly history. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section.